today I want to share with you seven tips on how to start your online business. Hey, before we get started, I have a great freebie for you. And you can click on the link in the description below on the quickest and easiest ways to generate quality leads. And that's part of what we're going to talk about today. So let's get this thing started. Seven tips on how to start your online business. Man, when I first got started, I kept seeing people making money all over the place and I wanted a piece of that. I wanted to retire and travel the world. So I started looking to see what I was going to do. So the first tip is figure out what product and service you're gonna sell. See, my first one was something called Financial Hat because I, I started out and I, I really, money was important to me and I went and did my journey on how to learn how to do some investing. I thought that was where I was gonna be. But to tell you the truth, what I found out, the market just wasn't there for me. And I really, it wasn't my passion. So, you know, and all that time to get a website up and all this and, and, and trial and error, right? You got to do that kind of stuff. Is that just didn't work for me. So I had to figure out something else. And I went to really teaching people just like me that are working nine to five, nine to five how to create a side hustle to where they can retire and travel the world in at their time and when they want to do it. So the second thing. First tip is one, figure out what you're gonna do. Two, some people really go out of whack and make this really big. Some companies have their own replicated service. I suggest you have yours because what you wanna do is start branding you, is making it you be the face of your company. But it, it doesn't have to be all fancy. In fact, you know, I started many different things. I hired people to create a website and all this stuff. But you know what I do now? I use a company called ClickFunnels. And I'll have a link below for ClickFunnels, but they, one, they do it all. It's just a click and drag and drop and you gotta put some language into it and you can build the website you want that can market your products. So two, you don't have to go all fancy on it. Just be a great service and product to people and create something, put it on the, online. The third thing is probably higher than that, is you need to start building a list. Because I don't know about you, but it, did you ever notice that when Facebook and Instagram went out on the same day? Holy cow, people were panicking. But when you have your list, guess what? That's yours. So you want to develop your list. Now, I use a company called Aweber, and I have for a long time. There's many others. I'll have a link for Aweber down below. It's a 30-day trial. But what it does is people come, and, and what you want to do is you want to have an opt-in page through, and this is what I did through ClickFunnels. I give away free products. Remember I told you that? Click on that link below. And it's an opt-in page and I collect an email. And then it goes to a thank you page that after when they opt in, I give them this freebie. When it goes to a thank you page, I start marketing a product that is in line with what I gave away. So now those people are on my list. And when they first opt in, that it goes to an autoresponder series. If they don't purchase, it goes somewhere else. If they do purchase, it goes somewhere else. And I can keep responding to those. Very easy and very great part of your business. The fourth one, fourth, <laughs> is how are you going to collect your money? All right? Are they going to send you a check? No, you don't want to send them a check. I use PayPal and I use Stripe. Uh, in, in fact, I include PayPal through my ClickFunnel pages. And I started out using, excuse me, I use Stripe through my ClickFunnel pages, but there's, I also have PayPal, which I use for some services like coaching and consulting that I use for that too. So figure out how you are going to collect your money. And then, whew, how do you price your products? Now I'm saying this to the people, or some people are going to listen to this in network marketers or whatnot. I'm talking about a digital marketing business, but you can also have other things out there. And if you don't, if you're selling somebody else's products or if you're an affiliate marketer, you don't set the price. But what if you're going to start coaching or what if you are going to make your own digital course? How do you price it? You know, that's a big challenge. And I, to tell you the truth, most of us entrepreneurs, when we first get started, we, we really underprice ourselves. And it's really talking about a value ladder. See, when I start, I have a core product. 
When I start out, I give something away for free. And then I have a, I want to start building my customer list. So I have products from $7, $27, $47. I try to stay in that range. My core product is much higher because it is much more value, right? But figure out how you are going to price your products. And I have a great resource that will help you and a great video to do that. I'll put that in the description below too. The sixth tip. How are you going to attract your customers? Are you going to do it through four Facebook ads, through YouTube videos, through influencers? Facebook ads is great. It really is. I, and I wish I was an expert, but to tell you the truth, I just had my account shut down and I still haven't figured out why, but I will get back on there. I do YouTube videos because YouTube is a search engine and I do how-to videos. And much like this below is I give away freebies and I direct them to courses. Now, if you want to be an online marketer, want my freebie, which you click below, is quick and easy way to generate quality leads, people that want your stuff, and then it leads them to a course called Digital Marketing Blueprint, which originally was $27, and I have up right now for $27. So that's what you want to do, is how do you attract, you, how do you attract customers? The sixth one, oh, well, that was six. Seventh one. And I think this is key. You either got to get into a community or you have to start building your community. Now, I have a Facebook group called Digital Marketing Hacks for Entrepreneurs because we talk about digital marketing. And what I want to do is I want to surround myself with like-minded people because those are the people who are making money. So you want to start your community through your email list, through your subscribers if you have a YouTube channel, and then maybe start a group or join a group of like-minded people. That will help you tons. So let's get on to the recap. That's all I got for you today. That you can build your own online business. So here are my seven tips. But before I do that, remember, grab that freebie. Freebie, quick and easy way to generate quality links. Because it'll help you know where and how to attract your customers. The first tip was figure out your product or service. Then you don't have to be all fancy schmancy. I would get click funnels. I have a link down below for that. It, some people just love it. I just love it because it's a tool I use in my business. Three, start building your list. That's yours. That never goes away. Build your list. Build a relationship with people on your list. Fourth one was figure out how to collect your money. Fifth one was... How do you price your products, right? Don't undervalue yourself. Six ones, how to attract customers, right? Through Facebook ad, YouTube, through influencers. Seventh one was start building your own community. Hey, I hope you got great value for that. If you did, please like this video. Drop me a comment below on which tip was best for you. Which one makes the most amount of sense for you? And then hit that subscribe button and that little bell that gives you notifications. I come out with YouTube videos every Tuesday and try to every Thursday. Um, always every Tuesday. So, click that link below on your freebie, right? Quickest and best ways how to generate quality leads. People that are looking for your product, your business. Y'all take care.